Welcome to Arch Test Squad I Want. Today's episode is Evil Heroes. Evil Heroes got a bit of support over the years. Mm. Like Supreme Castle, Supreme Cream Castle, which allows you to use cuts other than Dark Fusion. Basically, what Evil Heroes are like, they are just stronger but harder versions to of existing heroes we have to summon. They are basically more of the ones Jason used in the enemy. And yeah, that's yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the appeal. It's just evil versions of existing cards with unique and sometimes unique interesting power abilities. So you you have Inferno Wing, you know, elemental hero and uh, Flame Wingman, when it destroys a monster away bubble, you deal its attack, then the attack also destroys monsters as effect damage. And Inferno Wing can do the same, but it picks defense or attack depending which one is higher, and it does piercing damage as well. And if you use Dark Fusion, it's immune to spell and track card effects for the turn. And White Cyclone, instead of discarding just one card to destroy a spell or trap card, this one has a battle effect which, while it attacks, your opponent cannot activate spell or trap cards, and then after the damage that just destroys all, goes for Happy's Phaser, does the own based on cards of your opponent. And Malicious Edge is just a better blade edge. And you can just summon it with one tribute if your opponent controls a monster. Just give you a little bit of taste what's there and the weaknesses that the build relies on evil elemental hero that are updated. We're gonna make some um, fusions that are still outdated. Few cards treat themselves as dark fusion. The Sephiroth spell you don't need dark fusion, but we are still gonna make some cards that treat themselves as dark fusion just to be certain so we have more flexibility. A uh, few support compared to elemental heroes makes sense. We don't want to over support them, otherwise, the Ash the Ash type is just completely outclassed and too much resources which aren't all reliably searchable, so we do have searches for what you need, but they aren't as reliable. Um, I think I think we need first count evil counterparts. I decided that to pick these few monsters, and I'm gonna show you some effects I think they should have. That are not only used by Jaden, one was used by Esther Phoenix, those classic um, elemental heroes that need a specific need specific fusion materials, otherwise it kinda gets overloaded with too many evil hero counterparts, and I think not every elemental hero needs an evil hero counterpart. And dark fusion counterpart for super polarization. You can still use super polymerization, but with the, because um, Jaden used super polymerization quite often, I think having more uh, versions of it basically that you can even use when you don't have Supreme King Castle uh, would be nice. And some super polymerization targets for the archetypes, like. We got Dark Gaia in the enemy, and we can make some other ones for and the elemental and uh, evil heroes that use other monsters. But I just I will just make a handful. Otherwise, this video will be just like um, a bunch of fusion monsters for evil heroes. And let's start with the first custom cards and Dark Super Polymerization, which you just cut one card, you can do the effect of Super Polymerization, but you can only summon a Fiend 
monster fusion monster from your ex deck using this card and the fusion summon with this card is always treated as dark fusion um evil hero is a bubbler it's just an evil bubble man and i decided to give it the effect that it's treated as bubble man while it's on the field so if just so for the loads of it if you want to use some bubble man support you can use this card as well and i decided to give it the effect of neo bubble man but upgraded and during the end phase this card was summoned and you control no other cards you can draw two cards just just uh and make some adaptation of the old bubble man's effect but less powerful um, let's go to the fusions and um, steam healer evil hero counterpart i decided to give it the ability that if it's fusion summoned it gains 1000 attack it is unaffected by your opponent's card effects if this card attacks uh, destroys a monster by battle you gain the attack or defense whichever is higher as your life points and whenever you gain life points by this effect you can deal 1000 points of damage then Evil uh, Elemental Hero Mud Bowman's Evil Counterpart, I decided to make it Evil Hero Swamp Man. And because uh, Mud Bowman had no effects, I decided to be a bit creative. So you can use this as a substitute for any two material evil hero monster, and it's treated as two materials, and it's being substitute for both. There will be two and um, three or four material extra deck monsters, so this card may be um, useful for summoning these monsters. This card cannot be destroyed by effects, and it can, uh, or your opponent can only target this card for effects and for attacks. And I think because it has 3000 defense, I decided not to give it battle protection and then we have evil hero dark cloud which is just marina's evil counterpart i just couldn't find a man in black cloud man so i decided just to pick an image of dark clouds and this card cannot be destroyed by card effects of battle it can attack your opponent directly, and if you do that battle damage, you can banish one card on the field. I think for this low stats, that's a fine effect. And Tempest Evil Counterpart, basically a three material fusion, avian, spark, and bubble man. This card cannot be destroyed by battle. And this, when a card or effect is activated, that allows your opponent to add a card from the deck to their hand. You can negate the effect and that effect and deal 1000 damage, but it's a once per turn, hard once per turn effect. Um, Phoenix Enforcer's Evil Counterpart is a mixture of um, some new variation um, from Destroy Phoenix Enforcer and the new flame wind mainly got so quick effect you can destroy uh, this one card you can two cards a uh, one card you control and one card your opponent controls if this card is destroyed by a bow or effect you can special summon one evil hero from your graveyard basically itself too and you can tribute this card to special summon inferno Inferno Wing from your extra deck, and if they uh, ignore your summoning condition, and if you do, um, Inferno Wing gains 1000 attack and cannot be destroyed by card effects. Each effect can be used once per turn. I mean, things are so fun effect to use, and you can still take advantage of your old evil hero. Because Evil Hero Inferno Wing as the evil counterpart, first 
evil hero with soul and its sub counterpart of the evil hero uh, Jaden uses the most often and his favorite monster. Then we have evil hero Electrons. Evil counterpart, I decided to call it Disbeliever and made a dark attribute. And it has the same effect. The first effect is similar to Tempest and Electron. Basically, it has five attributes. When this card is fusion summoned, you can banish cards up to the number of different attribute monsters on the field. So basically, you can just for every monster on the field, this card is good. You can treat this as any different attribute to get the most of it out of its effect if you could control multiple monsters. And now a few generic, more super colonization targets. We have a Pyro Fusion, which die up. Gaia Core, I just called it because the core of the Earth is like Magma. When this card declares an attack, deal damage to the attack or defense, whichever is high of the Pyro Monster you use as fusion material to fusion summon this card. And when this card leaves the field, you can just burn your opponent for every card they have in their hand. And Evil Hero Abyss, I made it a bit more generic. And that's Water Monsters are a lot. There must be special summoned, obviously with Dark Fusion. This card gains 300 attack for every normal monster in your GUI. And when it declares an attack, you can just bounce the card back to the hand. Then the last fusion monsters I decided to add are these. I wanted to make some dragon and machine and whatnot, but I think that would take like forever. Like already we got six fusion monsters just for covering different attributes. So I decided for bug we have ball zebu. Then you can once per turn just special summon any evil hero from your deck while you control a fiend monster this card cannot be targeted or destroyed by cut effects. If this card is destroyed by battle, you can send one evil hero from your exodus to the GY. Special summon this card, and if you do, its attack is doubled. You can use each effect just once per turn. And I think this is a nice uh, ability for a um, bug type related ability I could think of. I tried to make that effect more in line with the type of monsters used. For the fusion zone. And uh, then we have it, the artwork is from Vicious Claw. And the spell card Vicious Claw. And Jaden uses Supreme King. And I don't know, I couldn't find what monster this is. So I assume this monster doesn't exist yet. So it could be an evil hero, and I decided to make it a fusion monster, which is a warrior plus fiend monster, like it is in, because warriors are related with equip cards. So when this once per turn, you can just add one vicious claw from your deck to your hand. While your opponent controls token monsters, they cannot summon monsters from the extra deck. This card equipped with Vicious Claw can attack every monster your opponent controls. If it destroys a token by battle, draw one card. I think that's a pretty nice effect. Last, I decided one trap and one spell card. One more. There are a few more I could have think of, but I think that's too much. Uh, first, the uh, signature move of Malicious Edge as a trap card and special summon one hero, hero from the deck. And if you control Malicious Edge, you can target one monster your opponent controls, destroy the target and inflict damage equal to the original attack of the monster. During a player's turn, you can 
and you control an evil hero except the card this card was sent to the graveyard you can banish it and activate one dark fusion from your hand and you will need a plan yeah i was kind of out of ideas just add an evil hero from your deck to your hand and then if you control a fiend fusion monster you can draw one card and i hope you will like some of the ideas i had for the evil heroes and there's much you can do with them i didn't go all into it but it was kind of trying to figure out how to upgrade the effect of existing hero monsters and it's the reason i decided to not add any uh, fusions with uh, blade edge or necro shade is because these have already evil counterparts and i think they, they are characterized to make something unique with these materials maybe i could have made a different fusion for um, the evil counterpart of what was it called i just mentioned it necro shade but whatever i think this is fine for now depending if we get more the multi hero count fusions of monsters we haven't gotten yet like Alien and Clayman, of course, then these would also need an evil counterpart uh, just for completing the original series of visual monsters, but that remains to be seen. Thanks for watching, and we'll see each other next time for the uh, whatever we have next in store.